tried and he loved to see it. Absolutely no headphones, he doesn't need them. And yet yeah. coming in with his signature off Yellow Rob versus the Goddess of Light. He is fueled by our streams. Um, and yeah, this is of course the UK's sole representative left in this bracket. Um, and one of two international players left in the bracket. So he's got a lot on his shoulders right now. And yeah, once again, people dropping shield just too early off that side. That's been happening a lot today. It's tough. It is very, very hard. It lasts like consistently longer than you expect it to, especially yeah. when you factor Ooh! in shield stun. Yeah, that's the thing about Ultimate's buffer system is like, you get used to it to just drop shield in advance, but a lot of moves like that, you actually have to hold it longer and be more precise in timing. It is uh, the multi-hit mix-up, baby. And yeah, Lucretia managing to avoid a lot of disadvantage today by the skin of his teeth. He's taking damage, but nothing... Nothing that'll put him in a kill situation particularly. Yeah. But we've seen it before. Lucretia, all he needs is that one. That one. All he needs is one. But I mean, that said, he hasn't Ooh. really had a chance to get Gyro out too much during the set. But Opting for the back air rather than the up air. Might regret that one later. But I gotta say, I love that setup there of Afodei beating Palu down tilt by drop off ledge Gyro. That was a really creative use of to get around what is and the incredible ledge trap. 100% and like, if you seal off Snook's ability to like keep you there in the you go, corner, rinse go, and repeat, yeah. his efficacy can be cut by quite a lot. We'll have to see how that progresses as the set goes on. Yeah, exactly. But Snook looking very comfortable right now. The crash has been sitting in the corner for a while now. I feel like this is the first time back in center in a while. And he will not make the same mistake again. Gets a charge down smash. And that down smash a buffed move. Because, you know, Palutena has been buffed in this game. He needs to be reminded. He needs to be forget. Eh. I mean, uh, of all the things, it's like, oh, the down smash is so broken. And I hear that all the time. Damn it. Yeah, yeah. Me, me when I get cheesed by Palu down smash for 30%. It did actually do 30%, so that's kind of wild. But. Still, though, it's, it's Nokia's almost is close to lapping him right now, looking very impressive. And very good spacing, too, to not get hit by any of these reversals off the ledge. Yeah. Although, he has not been so lucky against the instant gyro sport. Such a fast, threatening option. But that will do is No! Oh, I love that open there to get rid of the gyro, but it doesn't matter. Lucretia was ready to compensate. But a great teleport angles. Oh, and Perfect. Oh. back. Perfect. The only angle that would have saved him there. <laughs> Big Snook up three stocks to one here. Impeccable this man Tom. Impeccable. Fantastic. And yeah, once again, not getting caught by the DI cross up on that move. Whatsoever, oh, gonna get caught by that up smash. Right. But the crowd is coming alive for our boy. Big Snook is looking fantastic. Yeah, and it's it's a whole strong lead now. And Lucrecio, when he gets in, he can get a lot, but he's having trouble getting in against Snook. Yeah, I mean, Lucrecio is gonna have to delete an entire stock somehow to make this one back. I mean, that's a good start. That's a good start. Okay, nice back there, but he's sort of on the damage, but trades like that are actually not great if the test is it right now. I mean, yeah, the rage might actually end up working in Palutena's favor, making some of those back airs dash attacks kill that tiniest bit earlier. Yeah. So if he's not killing him, he's going to have to be very careful, very good. Faking out oh, the back air. there it is. And he goes for an up smash. You cannot get that drag down up air. It is not safe. He began the set with the F smash. He ended the set with the F smash. Fantastic. So very, very good play. Very clean, too. Yeah. And, like, the key is, very, very importantly, don't let Lucrecio get his hits to kill you instantly. Yeah. That's the whole point. Don't let him nair gyro you. Mm -hmm. Take the gyro, whatever. Don't get nair. And Snook didn't. You know, Snook was consistently unusual that entire game. And and I, I, I got some, you know, got some bits, but he never got anything going. And it's not exactly, like, even for Palutena, it's not exactly easy to win neutral against Rob. Yeah. Character with a very strong neutral state. I mean, yeah. But I mean, I think that's the thing with Snook, right? I think Snook is very based on his, his neutral play. I, I think do think Snook is very based. Yeah. So sweet. <laughs> 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 Sorry, folks. <laughs> yeah, but not yeah. too bad. Um, Kalos is an interesting pick here. Why do you think Luke Rehashu has been picking Kalos in corner pick a lot? Why do you think he likes this stage? Um, if I had to guess, now I'm not super sure. The Blast Zones probably won't make that much of a difference, but if I had to guess, he will have setups to be able to give himself gyro if he's in the corner. Yeah. You know, like sense. bouncing it off the wall, that kind of stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we haven't seen a lot of the setups all set. They've been really cool to see. Not just this set, all the sets. I mean, interestingly, I think the tail of the tape is going to be like, if you look at the way Lucrecio is playing, he's willingly putting himself in the corner. Before he'd even lost neutral, he was in the corner. Yeah. He's completely fine with doing that. But the question is, is that giving 
our man Big D a bit too much. Big Snook, a proficient corner player. Very, very, very good at choosing safe options and just keeping you in there. Yeah, like that's why he loves Nimmin, you know? He loves keeping you in the corner. Rinser beating you. Ooh! A very good upsell. Almost going to close it out. Ooh, a dangerous snare. Not going to die for it. Yeah, new cash here with a sign of life there, but still has a bit more work to go to kind of make up the deficit. Very good. And Mimmin. Nice. <laughs> I said Mimmin. And Snook once again with the gyro play. Not too shabby. Uh, shows that he's very clearly proficient with these items, with this item play. And he knows exactly what to do. Avoiding the two frame by the skin of his teeth. But he's going to have to watch out for that one. Yeah, exactly. And you see here that thing you mentioned earlier. Pat, as I say, never mind. I won't even say it. But uh, Paj and I can have trouble killing. It take, can take a while. Unless you get that grab. Unless you get that, ba um, that backer off stage. Unless you get the... Um, I, smash that, yeah. I wonder, like, can we weaponize Commentator Curse? Like, oh yeah, Palu has really bad damage output. Like, she just can rack up damage, you know? And oh, the Crash is playing so incredible right now. Whoa, what? Incredible from the Crash. <laughs> 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 Will it into existence, manifesting, and yeah, no DI is saving you from that cross stage F smash. Gonna kill it, like, you got to 160. Yeah, just take your stock. Not letting this get out of hand, like last game. And uh, while one uh, one very smart thing I'm seeing from Snook is the over reliance on grab, a very risky option in this game. Yeah. But the thing is, Lucrecia is banking on his ability to do the uh, frame four Z drop out of shield with the gyro in order to get his kill combo started. So Snook knows that he wants like the metal blade, oh, sorry, the gyro out of shield more than anything else. Yeah, exactly right. So he's completely happy to do maybe a slightly more committal guess than he would usually in order to uh, dissuade that option, maybe force Rob to guess a tiny bit more. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And it's, a, a, and it's like, that's exactly where Snook thrives as well, right? Because if he forces you to guess, that three gets reads. And Snook will get a big read and close it stops to 50. And that's where he thrives. Absolutely. So, uh, that roll read from the corner, speaking of, not going to come to fruition. Yeah, another ledge. Situation Snook again, back in the corner. And of course, can recover really well here. Rob's recovery has a lot of options, especially in the crash here, all those movement options. Can recover it extremely well here, but Snook will be... Yeah, I should get back to center. That was fast. That was fast. <laughs> I was going to be like, but Snook's not trapping, but no. <laughs> He's out of there. Yeah, and I know. Lucrecia in the lead for the first time in a while, Tom. Yeah, the first time uh, all set, I do believe. Yeah. Not that it's going to last for long. Snook evening them right back up, but we're seeing some signs of life from Lucrecia here. He's certainly oh. not going to let himself go down. Yeah, nares so out, easily. Nares out of Rob Nair combos. That was key. You could have been carried off the, off the side of the stage, and otherwise. 100%. Yeah, we easily could have seen death in that scenario. Snook hanging on. And once again, finding these Nairs so well. Just playing around uh, Lucrecia's use of shield fantastically. Yeah, it's actually incredible. Snook, don't leave my damage here, but honestly, this is anyone's game right now. Woo! Woo! Very He's good. reading him. Interesting play, up smash into side B. I kind of, I, I like it. I'm not going to lie, I like it a lot. Oh, but there's big damage from Snook. And Once if he again. takes out this game, he'll be in a very strong position. But uh, this is huge, right? Because going two games up is massive. But evening it out is like horrible for Snook. You know, this is just con like, this isn't like a game. This is like essentially two games worth of value, you know? 100%. And you do not want to be giving a player like Lucrecio any chances. That strong back air going to cause some issues. Yeah. Not going to find the kill, though, but Gyro into grab. Oh, nice there. DI is left. And Lucrecio won a set earlier. Very good. Mate. Yeah, he was mixing him up. Yeah. Last time he DI'd out onto the plat. Yeah, and that exact play he went for there is how he Surely a kill. No. no. Yep, the neutral air dodge drift back doing some serious work. Oh, the all player nearly came out. Very good, he's going to have to be so careful in this ledge situation. And yep. that platform will take it, and now it's even. Fantastic, just the regular roll, grab that ledge, hold that shield. Yeah. Absolutely fantastic work. I'm buckling, folks, run for a set. Run for a set. For a second I mean, there, I was like, maybe Snook will run away at this. Maybe we'll have a quick set, but no, no, do crash. Would we have it any other way? Both of them just playing phenomenally. I'm like, just... Oh. Maybe as commentators, yes, but the T.O. in me is like, no! No! Get it done! No. Get it done! <laughs> I okay. mean, honestly, just fantastic adaptation, really both ways. And it's like, it is really like seeing two extremes of the game, you know? Lucrecia, yeah. as we've seen, willing to gamble, willing to take risks. Yes. Willing to up smash in neutral to start his advantage state. Yeah. Of course, Snook is willing to work inch by inch, bit by bit, get you to the corner, get to the situation, and then eventually, when you've nothing, no options left, get you. Aesop's fables, man. Fox versus the hare. We'll have to see who gets there first. 
Okay, and let's see now. Hollow Bash is an interesting pick here. So this will help Snook really dominate. Like, use Snook's stage control that he's been using so effectively so far will be much more, uh, much more important here, and it'll be much more. So certainly accentuated with this center yes. platform here. Yes, exactly. Uh, especially like uh, being in the corner of the stage is a bad position, and Lucretia has been willingly putting himself there a lot of the time. Oh, the drag down up here didn't quite get anything off it. Yeah, not too bad so far. Um, even to a fault, I would have to say. No player particularly pulling ahead, but uh, that central platform control is also going to apply to Rob up there, Rob up smash. Yeah. A lot of very threatening options. Even the Nair at earlier percents will combo Ooh. into some serious trouble. Zuck's so been loving these callouts and F-Smash today. He's only got the one, but um, they are very interesting. He's not beginning to have much from other. I mean, yeah, they are literally just trading hit for hit. Yeah, they, they, oh. oh! And there's that coverage once again. The Joyer has been fantastic, really fresh out to avoid these. <laughs> Snook is known for his, like, oh, wow! Very good fishing for that all day, and he keeps landing it. You can see yeah. why. But I've just been so impressed with these Joyer play off stage, you know? Getting himself back, trying these projectiles to, like, really get him to clear his path, you know? Oh, like, just that. Like, he said that. I thought that was there. And it's so and now, Oh, what? my goodness! What a combo. If that kept going, that could have been death, man. Man's voguing. He's taking him around in a square. <laughs> Honestly, like a visual treat to watch, I must yeah. say, this Lucrecia. And he's kind of running here this game, nothing like. He's really gotten going. But the engine is running, Tom. Ow, oh, but there's the Absolutely equalizer. neutral air dodge finally getting called out. But uh, if he's making snook guess on that, it might be a bit dicey to keep getting those consistently. Once yeah. again, in the corner, not that he seems to mind. All I'll stick with that one off, one there, and suddenly it's like basically even again. Shout out to Pal here. And I think a slight problem. <gasps> Snook's been going for those all day and he's hasn't landed one yet. I think a slight issue with the way Snook's playing this is he's shielding the gyros. But that just like destroys it instantly, allowing Lucrecio to spawn the gyro again instantly. There's absolutely no problems. Off stage he's able to keep respawning it over and over again. What I think. Snook needs to kind of more so focus on is keeping the gyro away from Lucrecio because yeah. it's been so much trouble. Okay. okay, and both players trading projectiles right there now, and it's anyone's game right now. Starting the last situation, we'll, we'll see a gyro here. Absolutely. Absolutely. Doesn't even need it. That's the thing, mixing up between these safe mix ups and the committal roll. Taking stage control, roll, great option, once in a blue moon. Exactly. Oh, but that should do it. And Snook is back in the lead here. Back air finds it, Mark. Uh, showing Lucrecio his reflection in that mirror shield. And the most he said, a good comeback for Snook, despite the, the early deficit he had at the start of this game. Quite no, cool. definitely. And he's really started leveraging the invincibility of back air and dash attack in the situations where it counts the most. Yeah, exactly. It could open him up, but it could equally be the difference maker to let him win neutral. Yeah, exactly. And Snook here just continues to sit back, continues to try and slowly take center because he's up. He's got the stop. He doesn't have to worry about the stop. And Rob exactly isn't exactly known for it in post game. Oh, yeah. And yeah I mean, get it. firmly, firmly out of combo range here. Down to oh, no do longer this. going to do anything. Too much shield pressure on side. That's interesting. And now Snook is slowly building up more and more percent right now. It's looking good for him. And one up air could nearly do it in rage. Trying to get the frame trap with his up air as his own, but not quite. And that will finally close it out, but 69% uh, in deck as well. That's, ooh, it still gets rid of that right big. No, it's the same percent of you with that. No, could be difficult. no. Oh. Unfortunately, yeah, the execution on those is very tricky. Manages to get 25%, but not the stock, which uh, Snook probably pretty happy about. Keeping his chances in this game free alive here. Yeah. Now, it's, it's frenetic, it's frantic, but I do feel a certain sense of calm from both players. Neither one's panicking, they're taking calculated yeah. risks. I mean, we're we're mid-set, right? This is game three, this is halfway. Uh, another player really wants to like go down right now. You know, they're they're gonna play it safe, do what they can, and then hope you get a lead so they can be more comfortable and relax and then oh but they can lose a little bit more next game throw off, you know? One hundred percent. And I mean a top eight, especially because we started with top twenty four today, this is a marathon. These players yeah. have already played some sets already, some of them even other events. Um, oh, oh my god! My god. And Lucrecio steals that game! Oh my god! And so like good with those! So oh. ropes, Tom. He's a I thought he was looking good, I thought he was looking good, but Snook is on the ropes. It just... Oh, I'm so nervous. Yeah, this is tough. And I mean, Lucrecio is like... He's shown his ability to steal back games. 
either with heavy confirms or simply by just reading you several times. This is not just a lab rat. Yeah, you cannot call this guy out. Because like, being a labber is one thing, but actually getting to the point where you can execute like, those lab, uh, lab things is another thing. You need to know how to read as well, so we can get those setups, get those confirms. Because all those setups are very specific how you set them up. So you need to be really good at reading things so that to get in that situation. And even when he's not doing great setups, he's been getting exact his exam shade has been strong regardless, you know? And we, we've, been, we've been seeing it throughout the set, but his edge guards are getting closer and closer to the mark. Yeah. Slowly getting a read on what Snook's doing, and this is our bad Trap situation. between the gyro and down tilt, gonna take huge damage off this. And this is really bad for Snook right now. He's gonna have to make it, have a miracle to bring this back. We're only 30 seconds in, and it's already almost over. I feel my god. Big Snook's last chance to make this happen. Lucretia poised to take revenge right here, but Snook still has some space to work with. Yeah. Gonna take this next off pretty soon, because this deficit is major. Okay, that scrap, that's what he needs. That gyro is making respect to Lucretia so much. He's not able to go for edge guards or up close to the two frame because that gyro is constantly in the way. It's persistent. And he doesn't really call in between the gyro and... Oh yeah. my god! He's so, so good. And it's a position too, right? Because the gyro forces you to back up. But if he goes in behind the in front of the, between Gyro and Lucrecio, then Lucrecio can down him into it and get a huge setup. It's it's so crazy. It's like give me two roll distances of space or I will kill you. Yeah. It's so unfortunate, and he's really playing off Snook's desire to get the kill here. He yeah. just really can't find a big hit. And aside from anything, he simply does not want to have to guess against this absolute monster. Yeah. Who's he's proven himself capable of killing Snook at literally any percent. Yeah, and it's like and this is the thing, it's like, how does something do this back, you know? This is like, Palu isn't a character that's gonna spirit death in real quick, you know? This is not Lucrecia Luke, Luke Rob, you know? This is slow and steady, win neutral by one kind of character, kind of player. And Absolutely. that's not easy, that, this is a marathon, you can have a chance here, but that's how it starts. Yep, finally, a foothold. Uh, we're gonna have to see if Snook can make, is it enough though? Is it enough though? Yeah, it's... He's doing okay right now, but he needs to start getting a combo going. I mean, he can get some early percent damage, but uh, I do feel like if he goes for an early stock, Lucretia is going to be all over that. This is a seasoned player who's going to know the tricks. Yeah, you say you exactly. can't like just take back the deficit. You need to be smart about how you do it. Very, very smart. Yeah, exactly. Oh, just missed the grab there. Actually, whiffing the grab. The low profile of the grab actually getting him on the back air. Blessings in disguise, but uh, no punish off it, unfortunately. Snook playing very well right now. The deficit is in the back, but he's not taking too much damage, and he's getting a lot of damage. Absolutely. I'm finally catching the Crescio in these juggle situations. So if he can close this out soon, he'll be in a good position. But... Oof. Oh, Ooh, and catches the neutral air dodge with the side B. So smart. Going for the back air to close it out, but... Not quite, bit of a randy up smash there, not so that's punishable. Ooh, nice and slow. Oof. I'm nervous, Vince. I'm scared. Oh, yeah. I don't know about this. It's not gonna get the eye checked, but I I I am afraid, Tom. I... That gyro is coming back down. Okay. Okay. The shield will do that there, perfect. Nice covering the gyro, he's using that a lot of sesh. There we go, and now he gets the gyro himself. And the laser knocking it back. Lucretia's item play so There great. we go, okay. Would you expect One last any chance. less? One last Snook chance. With a new lease on life. That is nah, that's it. Uh, a great the one set. time he yeah. doesn't get the DI perfectly. All set. Hands up to Snook. What a run. What a player. Unfortunately he will be leaving us.